I'm not gonna upgrade at all. I want to prove to myself that I could have won that. Getting anything at the start of the run is uh, preferable to getting nothing at the start of the run for sure. Not having river was not the problem. <laughs> one nothing my butt off Need like one village. place to try to build spiders around, huh? We just put these here. Ooh. It's a nice drop. killing stuff too fast. It's fine. Big misplay not getting this luck last run. Yeah, well, happens. Can't play perfectly every time. Definitely always.
always doing that. I should have placed this one, though. Maybe placing the other one somewhere else. Hey, Sphincter Wolf. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. Gosh, these are just not useful. Unless I want blissful ignorance. Feels pretty on a ball from here. Feels like with double village, there's just so much room for things to go poorly. And I still win at the end. I win this fight. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems fine. I should use this oblivion on the bandit village just to slow down the bosses spawning. Ring. Just slowing down the spawn I'm parting to me for. Uh, yeah. I don't know what important means. It's right. You want good stuff on the board instead of a bandit village when you spawn the boss.
Very nearly leveled again already. Is Luke 2? Yeah, this is so much better than last time. I feel like maybe I could have won last time though. Uh, no. Yes. Now I just sort of don't have to think about anything anymore. I play thickets when I draw them. I don't need to ever play a meadow. Because I got a good start. I should probably unlock river next time. I guess sometimes I have to think about like... Which of these is best and stuff. Um... There's no way that that much skeleton level isn't better than summon quality, I don't think. Okay, so this loop we're gonna spawn the loop, and then we'll basically be fighting a boss every loop until we win. start with sustain on it. I need meadows. I might need meadows right now, actually. Hmm. Maybe I need meadows in play. Uh, skeletons that have extra abilities and stuff. And summon level makes skeletons have higher stats. That's the difference between them. Pretty good. Probably want that. I'm gonna keep the regen for a little bit though. This gets my summon quality up to like a billion. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just better. card or something. I could give up a skeleton level for defense, regen, and summon quality. I lose evasion as well. I think my evasion is too important.
One, two, three, four. Not too bad. I got all the damage I'm taking. Ugh. This perk is just, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> feel like they're a bit optimistic here. if I get rid of all of my skeleton level right now. Um, hello? <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, we got out of it. This is the only place I have a battlefield. Good perks. Please, sir. Level me up. It's not even a little bit close to the good perks. <laughs> but... Full heal on this? I might full heal on that.
Skeletons? Oop. skeleton level for some evasion or something. Okay. Go for 70% skeleton quality. It's unfortunate I don't have three skeletons, because if I had three skeletons with that, I'd be feeling pretty good about it. But hard to get three skeletons sometimes, I guess. the corner. There you go. There you go. All right. The like start of skeleton runs sort of feel like you actually have a character with interesting decisions. And then you get to the end and they're disabused of that notion very rapidly. the hero over skeletons because it certainly doesn't feel like a one on the three when you have two skeletons. Uh, I don't know how bosses target. Max skeletons. Alright. It's a lot of skeleton level I'm giving up, but... Maybe it'll be good.
and I have 70% skeleton quality. Yeah, that's what I thought. Expedition 5. We died in Act 4, our first attempt. Not full healing in this fight. Nope. I'm somehow managing to attack the things with thorns. The thorns, friends. What is the bluish sword sword that shows up sometimes? It's from ghosts. It makes enemies. Well, it makes anything in the combat that isn't a ghost, I think. Skip its attack sometimes. Something like that. Oh, it's vampire bats? Okay. Vampire bats are making things skip their attack. Sure. Not bad. River next time. We'll just make this a lot easier. I don't know, how much is the meadow HP per day doing? Probably like 150 health this loop? Nah, it's not enough. Are we winning? Necromancer has really close boss fights. I'm really glad that you play Necromancer in the last act, because uh, it's just... Uh, gosh. You're always on the edge of your seat, you know? Thank you. 
I sure did uh, voluntarily put a vampire in this fight. That was a great idea. I did just summon two skeletons at once. I'm very fancy. What the fuck? How can you offer me Blissful Ignorance again? I take those full ignorance. Blissful ignorance does cause me to never see it again. True. Ooh, fuck. You need to have max skeletons? I think this is the... I've had two of these rings, right? Two common max skeletons plus one rings. Don't believe I've had max skeletons on anything else. Hey, that's better. Heals never hurt. Set of a game that literally has a tile that makes heals hurt you. A beautiful truism. Perhaps most beautiful because it is not anywhere near true. No oblivion can't be used on the boss. Oh my god, I missed that question, but I'm so glad I saw the response. That would be a good move. Bad. 
What about using Oblivion on yourself? Hmm. I'm just like opening Twitter for the rest of the day or whatever. Might not be so bad. Top deck. things about river is that there's one less river than meadow so it would also make it so we drew good cards instead slightly more often vamps everywhere when I have a fucking plant skeleton in play. What attack am I evading? I have a taunt skeleton. I don't understand. AoE attacks. Ah, this has AoE, doesn't that? Yeah. Sure. Does Lich Town do anything now that the Lich is dead? Oh no. Also, I think I blew them up. I don't think there even are any. This isn't good, right? It lets me play a different ring, though. If I put it on. So I could hold onto it in case I got a better ring. Well done, as flick.
upgrade the ring. Kappa. Kappa. one of the reasons I'm not getting better equipment is that it is loop four. form. You don't need River for Boss form. It's nice though, I think. I think it's better than better. This is what I have discovered. Got this team. Yeah. Those chests make a lot of stuff when there are this many enemies in the fight. This is about the same, actually. <laughs> Just very confusing. It depends which one we get the upgrade for first or something. I don't know. It's confusing. I might be strong enough to just play stuff in between the cemeteries now. Our equipment is enemy level in connection. Enemy difficulty in connection to level. Uh, vaguely, yeah. It's enemy drop class, which is higher for harder enemies, sort of. Chests aren't particularly hard and have a pretty high drop class. Scales with tiles is weird. That's what I've decided. I've decided it's weird and I don't want to think about it. That's my approach. Seems to be taking damage going through this. Yeah, I think when you have like. 48% scum in quality, and then don't get any enhanced skeletons at any point. Oh, nice! <laughs> um, <laughs> it does sort of suck, doesn't it?
Is river math as weird as mountain math? Much weirder. Much more weird. The thing is, Necromancer doesn't need high level equipment. You just need to roll the stats on an item. I just need summon quality and max skeletons together. It doesn't need to be a level 5 item or anything. Oh. I think I can't play stuff like this. I'm relying on my skeletons dying, which requires skeleton quality. Although, if I get um, a magic perk on level up, I'll want it, so let's hold on to it. Summon quality. Max skeletons. Hits are very, very good now. I mean, they were already pretty good, but now they're very, very good. This is better than that at this point, actually. Count's chair. The problem with laying down one's life is that it is attack speed gated. Uh... I also have skeleton level. Like it was tremendously important for my last expedition where I didn't have forests. life shares damage dealt to magic HP. I get an item that I should be equipping and don't equip it because I'm sort of <laughs> uh, I'm not doing as good a job as I was 11 hours ago of uh, parsing what items do when I get them. Okay. 
Oh, well, this is only boss fight two, right? Why did I just summon a ranged skeleton? What happened there? Weird. I guess the other skeletons were in their death animations, so I was allowed to summon one, but... I don't know. Weird. Right, Edge of Impossible went off, but like... Still. Still. That's the one? I'm gonna go ahead and just have my skeletons on everything, I think. I'm at 110% tax speed, it should start being pretty good. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, we have battlefields and everything. I don't think I'm playing another tile other than thickets for the rest of the run. I guess I could spawn clots. Bleh. Bleh. There's one spot that isn't covered. Oh, I'm deliberately not putting stuff in front of the skeletons. You're talking about there. There's like here, which has spiders. Maybe I'm going through the loops too fast. Stuff isn't getting to spawn. Is Edge of Impossible just 20% master of control? Well, you also um, don't have to wind up the next summon move. this this time and then get rid of it for next time. on mage we got more cheese that's good range not hit ranged it's not actually in the fight, so we can't attack it. It's on the next tile. Assisting its friends in the battle.
villages fight's good for this class. Not with like more than 200% attack speed. You summon all of your skeletons and then you start attacking the thorns things and you die. Good. Thanks for the raid. I'm exhausted right now. I'm sorry. We're uh. I decided that you could beat Luke Hero in four expeditions. Well, it's also like being proven that it's possible. I decided that I could beat it in four expeditions without saving and reloading. I estimated it would take me 40 hours. I think I've, I'm about 26 into the project or something, something like that. This one was very nearly it. We got to the final expedition, but we died on our first attempt at it, so I'm just finishing up in five, which will be my personal best. A new episode of the podcast is out now. That's awesome. Kid does a podcast where he interviews streamers and chats about streaming and the streamers and stuff. And he and I chatted for a few hours and just split it up into two episodes of the podcast. So it sounds like part two has just come out. Do you want to drop a link to that, Gid? You won't get timed out or anything. This is a very comfy conversation. There's so much stuff that... Like, I have to say about streaming, but... Most of the time, a viewer won't hear it because I'm talking about the game I'm playing and stuff. So, if you're curious about what's life like for a streamer and what do I think about the platform and why do I do things a certain way on my stream and stuff, it's a place to get a lot of those sorts of answers. Thicket and putting it on the map now, and not making any other decision really. I'm checking equipment to make sure it's not better, but it usually won't be. I guess blowing up the green villages because we don't want them. River's good. Yeah, I'd rather have river rivers than meadows. But they're pretty obviously also not necessary, right? I needed one more of their resource to unlock them, so that's why I don't have them in this. Which gold card? Uh, the only one I had to unlock was Ancestral Crypt. Which is, you know, perfectly fine. The Thorns goes through Magic HP, Griffin. Seriously, the thorns goes through magic HP, it's not good. It's like the only tile in the game that's bad for you if you have unseen care. 
17k is why you have 13k magic HP. Cool. You should get rid of the green villages because those are the only things that can hurt you. Five meadows, thank you. They have pockets. Um, hey, I didn't die. We got the maze of memories. Probably don't want that. Place it in your stuff. Fine. <laughs> what's what's cool about it? I guess I could use it to get the final boss fight now and take one loop less, maybe. I don't think it would actually be enough. Anyway. suppose I could spawn the final boss off that. No, not particularly close. That's fine. Gives me plenty of oblivion targets. True. Skeletons are sort of weak. I have killed it. Now all that is left is the body. Hey, Raziel. This could have easily been four, but we didn't do great the first time through chapter four, unfortunately. We'll get it tomorrow, maybe. This is going to be my last run for today. I'm going to have some food and then go to sleep.
the river would help a little bit here, but also I have 150% attack speed, like it's fine. How much do you need? I don't know. How much do you need? Files on the left are a maze of memory. It got dropped for us from a ghost cube. Is this fancy? Maybe, almost. That's it? That's what I got? Where are my drops? Hello? No drops? No drops. Alright. Fair enough. Doesn't drop loot because it's the third act. Ugh. Oh. oh, that hurts me. Oh, why would you hurt me like that? I'm gonna drop my skeleton quality. Don't need it, right? It's fine if they attack me. I have 1.7k health and share damage with my skeletons. It's not <laughs> an issue. It is time to fight God. I know what you're thinking, but George, you're a god. Mm, I don't mean a god, I mean God. Isn't the final boss really not God? the maze but not the meadows out of uh, disdain for meadows when I was a youth I was bullied relentlessly by a meadow is 124 orbs of expansion good I'm getting more than one per fight I think I have the melted brain voice. I also have the melted brain, so that makes a lot of sense. What you got for me? It's time. I think unseen care. It's never too late. I mean, probably too late, but it's huh, also never too late. If you hit the next boss bar before you fight the boss, the next boss spawns instead. Is that like a 448 feed? Yes. 
know, like a 445 feet or something, maybe. Is there a dialogue? I've never, never read those. I read all my dialogues in my first playthrough, but in this, well, yeah, ever since my first playthrough, I've just been skipping them. Oh, this is good, right? We did it. We found a ring that I care about. a time when meadows were doing something for us. That time is now past. You've got a pet upon. Leave our poor meadows alone, come on. Doing their best. How was I to, like, understand how to actually unlock river by farming the right resources? That's just not a reasonable expectation to have of me. I'm gonna take meadows again next time. What are my other options? Like, desert? I want desert? Uh, I don't know. Not much. I don't want rocks, do I? There's no way you want rocks. No, get the fuck out. There are like seven more rocks than there are meadows. That's no way. And there are way more deserts than there are meadows. No, you want meadows over either of those. We milk are the four months. I'm going to show you too. I guess I can do this, but it doesn't actually do anything. Because we're fighting the boss. Hmm. Right. God, where are you? River Meadow is the smallest set of land cards you can have. Yep, that's true. I upgraded my equipment. Look at me. Rivers unlocked, so I can't take rivers here. Although I could have unlocked rivers. 
Based on how this has gone, I don't really feel like I needed to spend more loops unlocking rivers, though. And I don't think having rivers would have made the last one a win. I don't think having meadows over rivers was the problem there. to defeat the final boss with only 2,000 health, one resurrection charge, and skeleton level 10, and I have over 200% attack speed? Oh. <laughs> that seems strong. Last time on loop 6 I had skeleton level 13. So this is really slacking, honestly. Hello, friend! you talk for a long time. <laughs> oh, I should probably have like added more stats so that I could lose other stuff. Why are some of them what do you do? Every third attack raises one item and one of the hero's stats from existence. So the ones that are red are because the item that would make them higher is gone at the moment, I guess? Okay. Ah, my max skeletons is gone. That's awkward. <laughs> Can I have that one back, please? When your max HP is gone, it's fine, right? You don't like. What happens when your is the fight gonna go long enough? Ooh, my skeletons are gone again. Stop that. Hey, there it goes. Oh, I see. It's proportional. It stays proportionate. Maybe drink potions. Shall we take a deep pocket? Says the reward for our expedition four, or act four rather one. What I really need right now is for the resource cap to be increased. All right, five expeditions, 24 loops. That's quite a lot better than my previous best, right? Which was like 631 or something. by rat wolves and vampires. 
22 cemeteries, 54 groves, 6 blood paths, 33 villages, 28 ransacked villages. I placed 33 villages? How does that work? There's no way I placed 33 villages. <laughs> 